All right, UFC 294, a lot of question marks around the card. What's going on? A lot of rumored fights that came out today, a lot of back and forth. And I want to break it down to you guys. I mean, there's talks of Volkanovski versus Islam, Islam versus Leon, Hamza Chamaya versus Cannoneer, or Hamza versus Paulo Costa. Now that apparently Paulo is not fighting at the end of the month, which I have been saying for the longest time. I have been saying to you guys that this fight is not going to happen. I said, look, guys, don't get too excited. That's why I've done no talking about this fight whatsoever when I referenced 291, because I knew this fight wasn't going to happen. This isn't the first time. A similar thing happened when Whitaker was supposed to fight Paulo Costa all the way back in February. But yeah, and obviously, you know, UFC loves to stack those Abu Dhabi cards because, you know, obviously Abu Dhabi is paying the UFC quite a lot of money to put on those cards. So expect a banger card. And I want to talk about the potential matchup we're hearing of. But guys, before we get into it, please hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share because, like I said, we're trying to hit 20K by the end of the year. And yeah, that's a pretty big goal. We're at 11K. I think we could do it. We got six months left or so. So if you guys could just support me, share the video, put the notification bell on so the algorithm knows you're in the video that would be very much appreciated anyway guys think i've done enough talking and let's just get into the video but yesterday there was a lot of talk about ufc 294 and i want to recap a lot of the rumors if you guys missed it because there were so many rumors you guys probably missed them all let's first talk about paulo costa versus hamza chamaev now obviously we heard that jared cannonier was going to be an opponent and i think at one point or at least at one stage he was going to be we saw hamza's coach basically watching notes and saying hey i'm watching notes on a fighter that hamza's gonna fight next so we kind of came to the consensus that hey cannonier would probably do it cannonier said he was down as long as you get a title shot after that and yeah i mean look that if i isn't exactly the appetizing fight as paulo costa versus hamza chamayev is but that is still an interesting matchup jared cannonier is really strong he's a big guy good takedown defense and if he strikes with hamza chamayev that's an interesting matchup if hamza can't take him down yeah then i would see jared cannonier maybe even winning that one but out of nowhere you know paulo costa it's finally confirmed or almost confirmed i have no idea if this is even confirmed but it seems like paulo costa isn't going to be fighting at the end of the month it seems like they were trying to replace him with you know roman deladze he declined so who knows what's going on with that fight and yeah simultaneously according to paul costa he's saying hey that he's going to fight in abu dhabi he's waiting for the ufc to finally announce it because he's saying he's getting annoyed because there's so many rumors and so many people basically saying how he's ducking you know aliskarov at the end of the month so he just wants some confirmation so to me it seems like that there's some sort of talk behind the scenes about him and hamza chamaya and yeah you know obviously that matchup is amazing because you know there is history there a little under a year ago if you guys remember hamza chamaya and paul costa had beef at the ufc pi did you say well, you want to fuck me out you want to fight me? No, I said, do you, do you say anything? I want to fight you. You want to fight me? I want to fuck you up right now. Okay. Yes, come on, Let's come on. Come here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. fuck you up. Now. Pussy, man. You're Brazilian pussy basically talking shit to each other right before Hamza Chimaev was supposed to fight Nick Diaz. Obviously wound up missing weight, etc, etc. So yeah, this fight has been building up for basically a year at this point. So there's a lot of beef, a lot of back and forth. I would have liked to see this fight a little bit sooner, but here we are. This is a fun fight to make. And it's interesting. Look, Paulo Costa is a really strong guy. Can I see him defending the takedowns of Hamza? Absolutely, because this is a new weight class for Hamza. Hamza isn't really used to this. Yes, I know he fought GM3, but you know, that fight was like 10 seconds long and he didn't even bother grappling in that one. So he saw, you know, obviously Hamza have some level of holes in his game with the Gilbert Burns fight, but I still think that he's a pretty decent striker. Definitely has power. You can't underestimate him, but I still think that this is a pretty good matchup for Paulo Costa, especially if he could defend those takedowns, and that's really the question. You know, how big is Hamza now? We haven't seen him since September. It has this whole time has he just been getting bigger to go to middleweight, which I think is a problem, right? Because he was pretty big for 170. I don't think he should be getting all this weight to go to 185. Like, clearly the weight cuts are not good for him, so I'm hoping that's not the reason. I mean, there could be an injury. You know, some people are saying that, you know, he got banned from USADA. I don't necessarily believe that, but I'm just saying, like, the matchup's interesting. If Paulo Costa keeps on the feet, I would probably go with Paulo Costa, but there's a big question mark. Can Paulo Costa stand with him? I mean, we saw Luke Rockhold get some control time over Paulo Costa, but obviously Luke Rockhold is a big guy. He's fought at 205. He's a strong guy, also a really good wrestler. So there's a lot of question marks with the fight, but yeah, I'm gonna do obviously do predictions once the fight is announced and when we get closer to the fight, but right now, uh, I don't know who I lean towards. I might be leaning towards Paulo Costa, honestly, because he is a strong guy, really, really strong, on the secret juice. And you could probably assume he's going to defend those takedowns. I don't know, man. And if that's the case, I don't know. It, it's tough. And also, another thing to consider is Paulo Costa has a really good ground game as well. Really good jujitsu. He just doesn't use it so much. I hope that matchup goes down. There's beef there. There's a storyline there. And it's an interesting matchup. It's everything you want. And it's going to be on that big Abu Dhabi card. So we'll see when that matchup happens. But another rumored matchup, you know, there's a big question mark about this main event. It seemed like a month ago we had an answer. It seemed like we we're going to have Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makachev 2. Then Charles Oliveira threw a curveball at all of us and said, hey, basically, he's not gonna be able to fight in october he could fight in november or december but he won't be ready for abu dhabi so that fight's off the map right we're no longer gonna get that fight in a rematch then volkanovsky has a pretty decent performance against yagi rodriguez well i shouldn't say decent it was a really dominant performance and a really good performance but he really didn't take too much damage which made us think hey maybe we're gonna get volk versus islam too but volkanovsky revealed
healed after the fight that he needed surgery and he just got surgery today and i revealed to you guys hey it's gonna take six weeks his coach said the same thing and in six weeks that's about august right that's like mid-august near the end of august and the fight is going to be in october so if he wants to you know recover he's gonna basically right after he recover have to hop right back into training camp and i don't think that's necessarily a good thing even though he probably could you could re-injure the arm or injure something else because you've just had two back-to-back -back training camps i mean basically three back-to-back -back training camps from the islam fight to the international fight week card to now abu dhabi i mean especially training at such a high level and training so much grappling for islam you would assume that hey maybe he's gonna have a few injuries going into there so he isn't exactly a solid possibility either which leaves us with who is going to fight him well we can go with justin gage for Dustin poirier the winner of that fight but to be honest that fight is most likely going to be a war and both guys are going to have some sort of level of damage so will they be able to you know go fight a few months later i don't think so i mean the possibility of that is slim and the tickets to abu dhabi go on sale this friday so we're gonna have to expect an announcement soon i really wouldn't be surprised if we get an announcement today or something like that so we have a few options like i said we still have volkanovsky which i'm gonna get into a little bit later because volkanovsky did say a little bit about it but islam threw a big curveball at us basically calling out the welterweight champion leon edwards who is supposed to be defending his title against colby covington next and obviously this would be islam going up in weight to fight leon now i like this fight you know i think it's an interesting matchup you know i think that islam is really big for the lightweight division so i think there's always been a question mark on how him or khabib would have done at welterweight so we would get to answer that question and islam is no slouch on the feet like a lot of people have this misconception that if islam were to stand with leon he would get absolutely murdered with i think leon would win yes but i don't think it would be this absolute domination we saw makachev rock volkanovsky and leon edwards has some pretty decent wrestling people forget that so i think it would make for a good matchup i'd probably pick leon edwards in that one especially after seeing the volkanovsky performance i think leon edwards is just too big for him too strong and i think that strength that islam has at lightweight might not match leon edwards so i'd probably go with leon in that matchup but he called him out nonetheless do i think the fight's gonna happen i mean it just doesn't make sense to me because apparently dana white is you know really set on colby covington getting the next title shot but what they could do if they go this route is co-main event colby covington versus Bala muhammad Bala muhammad likes to fight in abu dhabi and you could have that as an interim title co-main event and the winners of both of those fights are gonna probably fight earlier next year but will colby be happy with that i don't know i don't think colby's gonna be too happy so i don't know if dana white owes him for something because as we've seen dana white is so dead set on this guy getting the title shot but volkanovsky has reassured us and said hey where are you running from i could be good in abu dhabi so it's kind of crazy to me that volkanovsky is willing to do it in abu dhabi i just think that they should have a backup plan just because man i don't really trust that matchup going through just because volkanovsky man he's had back-to-back -back training camps coming off of an injury i would love to see that fight you guys know more than anything i want to see that fight as soon as their first fight happened you guys knew i've been beating on the drum saying hey volkanovsky needs a rematch we need to see that fight again i've been saying it over and over again i said it after you know volkanovsky fought a few weeks ago i said i want to see that one so it's not that i don't want to see the fight i'm just worried about the fight going into fruition and then after that we got to change the main event and we might not have a good lightweight even ready like we might see you know maybe like a benil Dariush get a title shot you know what i mean because he's the only one ready or an armin sarukian or something like that that you know isn't really exactly a fun matchup but like i said i'd expect an announcement very soon i just think it's going to be weird for them to announce islam versus volk knowing hey volkanovsky might not be able to make the date but we saw you know volkanovsky did get surgery so there's hope is it likely i don't know we're gonna have to see i just think it's risky announcing a fight that you know you don't even know 100 is gonna happen also Ilya Taporia came out calling out volkanovsky said where are you running from which like i said i think i think alexander volkanovsky is gonna beat Ilya Taporia. i just think that's a good matchup for him i could see him like kicking him keeping him at bay Ilya Taporia had trouble a little bit when people you know were distancing from him you know like he's good in the pocket but when people you know have some distance on him i think that's when he has some trouble and plus this is his first time fighting for a title he has gone five rounds which is good which gives him a bit of an advantage but volkanovsky pushes the pace like nobody else and Ilya has a good ground game that's an interesting matchup to happen but i think if volkanovsky is gonna fight in october he'll fight islam i don't think he's gonna fight Ilya Taporia there but guys let me know in the comment section below who do you guys have as the main event for abu dhabi you know what do you guys think about the hamza and paulo costa matchup who wins that let me know your predictions in the comment section below you guys are the best fans in mma thank you guys for watching like i said we're trying to 20k by the end of the year so just support and i'll see you guys in the next one